Hey friends, welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today's video. I was thinking it was time to do another video that was like focused on one single makeup tip. So last night I was thinking of things that I wanted to share, tips that I haven't recently shared on my channel and other videos, and it led me down this path. And so I started watching a channel that is one of my favorite channels to watch, that's Wayne Goss. Uh, I love Wayne's channel because, I, one, I love how short and concise his videos are. They're very easy to watch. Uh, they're very short and to the point. I really like that. I also really like how he breaks down makeup tips in such an easy and understandable way, which is something that I really try to do here on my channel. Um, I really admire his channel a lot because I feel like he gives practical information in a very easy to understand and quick uh, quick videos. So I was watching his video and I found a video that he did about a year ago and it was titled, I think it's titled like world's greatest makeup tip, the greatest makeup tip ever. Uh, and so I watched that video. So I'm going to share, and I'm actually going to put to the test that tip in this video. And it's actually a tip that I've shared in the past. Um, and I'm not taking credit for this tip, but maybe I did a video called like 10 amazing hacks from my subscribers. And this was a hack that one of my subscribers shared with me and I shared it in that video. So I've actually shared this tip on my channel, but I wanted to actually put it to the test. I wanted to do a video where I actually do one side of my face using his tip and one side of my face um, without using his tip and kind of go throughout the day, take you guys along with me and see how it performs. So that is what we are gonna do. So I have my eye makeup applied, my brow Brows. I have a little concealer, but I don't have anything on my skin. So we are going to, this This is a foundation focus tip. This is a tip that ensures your foundation is going to have more longevity, stay on all day, kind of keep shine and oil at bay. Um, and I picked a perfect day for this because it's really humid outside. It's raining a ton in Austin, so it's really humid. Um, I have pretty normal skin. I definitely have an oilier T-zone, but I'm definitely not dry. Um, I'm kind of in between normal and oily T-zone. So the tip really is as simple as applying a loose powder over your skin before you apply your foundation. So after you've applied your moisturizer or your primer, in his video he says it can be applied after moisturizer or after primer. I haven't applied any primer today, but I did apply moisturizer about an hour ago. So I'm gonna apply a very sheer layer of the Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. It comes in a package like this. I'm just gonna apply this on my face. Sorry, it is so bright. Uh, I'm just gonna apply this on my face, on my right side, apply my foundation, and on my left side, I'm not gonna apply it. So we're gonna test, uh, you know, just kind of compare the two sides throughout the day. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just dumping it into the lid. And I am using this Real Techniques blush brush. I wanted a brush that was kind of big and fluffy. I wanted to use a brush that was big and fluffy just so that it would apply a nice sheer layer of this. So I'm gonna put it on the side of my nose here too. Dust it on my cheek. I'm also gonna put it up here on my forehead. Now in his video, he promises that your foundation will not look cakey like some might think. And I think it also too depends on the powder that you use. You definitely probably wanna use something light and sheer versus like a powder foundation. Um, there's so many different types of powder, right? There's translucent powder, there's powder foundation, there's uh, powders that have some type of color or coverage. I assume this tip is gonna work best using a light translucent powder. Okay, so I feel like I've covered my face, my right side of my face pretty well. So the foundation that I chose to use today is one that I've tested and has performed well for me um, many times. It's the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup Foundation. Um, it's a very lightweight, uh, mattifying, and oil-free foundation. This does a really good job on its own as far as staying shine-free on me. So I wanted to, I didn't want to use something glowy. I wanted to use something that I knew worked well. So I'm going to apply this on top of the powder that I just applied. I really like this foundation a lot. I feel like I don't talk about it too much here on YouTube, um, partly because this was a foundation that I kept at my bathroom vanity, one that I wore all the time. It's nice because it's so light, but it gives good coverage. It's not a full coverage foundation, but it definitely gives enough coverage I feel like that I need. And it has a nice like soft matte finish. So the foundation is going on pretty smooth. It's not patchy or sticking in any areas. I do feel like it actually looks a little uh, softer and like my pores look slightly softer and more blurred. And I think it's probably because of that powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply it on the left side. So on the left side, I have nothing. I have not applied powder. I've only applied my moisturizer.
So I will say this, I do think I had to use a little bit more on the right side where I had the powder. I found that on the left side, a little bit of the foundation seemed to go a longer way. Like it seemed to just spread a little bit easily. I think that's probably because there wasn't a powder that kind of gripped it. So as far as the finish, they both look very similar. Initially, I thought that the powder side was blurring the pores a little bit more, but I actually think that um, it's kind of the foundation because they both look very similar, so. Okay, so in his video, he also says that you can set with a powder if you'd like. So I am gonna go ahead and set both sides with a powder and I'm gonna use the same powder. Okay, I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. It is just after 10 a.m. It is 10.08 a.m. So I'm gonna go throughout my day. I will be doing some check-ins with you guys to compare the two sides and we will see if the right side is staying a bit more shine free. So I'm excited to actually test this trick out on camera and show you guys how it performs. All right, you guys, I will see you all in a bit. Hey friends, it is just after 1 p.m. It is 1.10. I wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys. So it's been three hours since I applied the foundation and I am actually sitting here at the mall. I need to run into Sephora and make a purchase, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little check-in and update on the foundation um, looking at my foundation I have not touched up since I filmed that since I filmed this morning and I can see no difference between the two sides they look um, pretty much exactly the same so they still look really good I don't feel the need to touch up on either they both look pretty matte um, I've been running a few errands this morning so um, yeah so far so good but again it's only been three hours so give me another three hours and I'll check back in with you guys Hey guys, it is 7.15, so it's been six hours since I checked in with you last. I have touched up the foundation once since then, and I wanted to kind of give you guys a little update of um, how things are looking. To be totally honest, I didn't really notice a huge difference between either side. Um, I did notice before my last touch up that the right side, which is where I applied the powder first, looked slightly more mattified. So I do think the trick works, but it wasn't something that was extremely, like there wasn't a huge difference between either side. For me, of course, that's going to vary for everybody, right? Um, I don't have a really excessively oily skin type. I think po possibly people that have more oil to their skin or an oilier skin uh, would probably notice more of a difference than I did. I did notice a slight difference, but it wasn't as dramatic as I was hoping it would be. Um, so I haven't touched up in probably, it's probably been three or four hours since I touched up last. And you can probably see that this side, which is where I put the powder on, looks to be in a little bit better um, shape than the left side. The left side, there's definitely a little bit more shine, especially here in the center of my face. So, so anyhow, that is the final test of the, uh, of that makeup tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you've tested this tip out yourself and how it performed for you. Like I said, everyone's skin is so, so different. So some people probably would notice better results than I did. Um, if you've, I think Wayne Goss even said in his video that if you have really dry skin, you probably should skip this step because it's just gonna dry your skin out anymore, even more, and I agree with that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you guys that little recap. I am parked outside of the mall. I have to run into Sephora to grab a couple of things. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.